Good morning, my beautiful people of radical hair. Um, I just wanted to post up a video today um, just going over some of the policies and procedures that we did post up yesterday. So I just want to make it um, aware that obviously we are trying to do what's best. Um, this situation that we're going through during this pandemic is something that we have never ever experienced before as people and as businesses. And I cannot stress how difficult it has been to navigate and run a business during COVID. And what our business has had to go through, having to close for nearly about four months, over four months for when we open, uh, the bills that we've had backed up, we've had to pay, um, obviously with our accounts, We've obviously had to mentor and look after staff as well and keep things flowing and aligned um, with how we want to kind of go forward. So the reason why we have these certain policies and procedures coming in just for the reopening is because we can only function with five people in the salon at the one time. Our salon can usually do a capacity of at least 10 people. So this is half of our salon capacity. And we also then have the issue of working with a square meter rule with staff. So last time when we reopened, we only closed for three weeks. So we did not have this issue of 500 plus people on our waiting list. Whereas now we have over 500 people wanting to come in and we understand that there are people that haven't had their hair done in a long time and I completely feel for you and I know that it's horrible and you feel, you know, horrible about, about yourself and we want to do everything we can to make you feel better. But we also have to understand that because we're so limited to how many people we can do in the salon because of the square metre rule and just the backlog of people, if we do full services... Uh, say like full heads of foils, people were going to be there. One person can sometimes sit in there for about six hours because of that. And economically as a business, we will not survive if we do that kind of, um, if we take those kind of appointments at the moment. So this is why we're trying to restrict things and, and work things out to be able to move forward and try and get through the influx of people. Um, we understand that hair colour is so important, but there are so many people that want to come in. If we do everything that people would normally usually get in a normal time frame, in a normal world, um, post, you know, COVID going away, we could. But right now we're in a pandemic. Things are changing. Our community and societies are now segregated because of the vaccine. Who would have thought that this happened? I would never have thought, Lawrence, Gina and I would never have thought that our business would have to close for over four and a half months. Um, and so this is just where we have to, we, things are changing. We're getting emails from our suppliers saying that things are going up. Um, we've had to pay rent during this time. And, you know, we're just trying to do the best we can to be able to move forward, to make our business still survive and also give clients a fair shot of getting in. And this is just why we're doing it. And when we have cancellation fees and deposits, it's because we're going to have so many people that want to come in. If someone cancels last minute, that's then taken away from someone who would have come in and would have been um, wanting to get their hair done and enjoying the service from us. So these policies and procedures won't be in all the time. They're just for when we open and it's because we're under such strict regulations by the government. Um, so please understand from our business how hard it's been for us and how we're just trying to navigate through this. And we've spoken to lots and lots of other businesses about what they're doing and lots of salons are doing the same thing and it's just going to be a difficult time to navigate through. So please just understand that and... Uh, you know, we all can't wait to see you in the salon. We are so excited to get back to what we're doing. 
Uh, but, you know, times are not the same. Things are so different now. And, you know, moving forward, everyone's going to have different viewpoints on things. You know, you know, I, I understand that some people, um, you know, don't agree with some things either. And that's OK, because in the end, this is the best way moving forward for our business and our hair community. And we want to try and make as many people, as many people happy by getting their hair done. And even if we can just do a little bit of something, it, I'm sure it will just bring light and joy to everyone's day. So I just wanted to jump on here and um, just let everyone know. And we can't, can't wait to see you all soon. Um, so if you haven't booked an appointment, or we'll got on the, the wait list, please email us and I can add you to the wait list. Um, all of our stylists are so excited to get back. Obviously, there's going to be new time schedules and days that we're working. We're even considering opening up other days. Um, so we're, we're, we're trying to do all we can to accommodate everyone in our beautiful hair community. And just even having a wait list of over 500 people has brought tears to Laura's, Gina and I's eyes because we people want to see us. People want to come back to our business. And that just makes us feel so warm in our hearts. So thank you so much, everyone. And we can't, can't wait to see you all.